Thank you, Mr. Strasser. You're, you're too kind. All right. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> Honestly, we have no idea how we both made it up here. People think that we're the best. Well, second best. But in reality, this whole class is full of dreamers. The GHS class of 2015 has some of the most intelligent, inspiring, and spirited students. To start off, we have this quote from Walt Disney. Believe in your dreams, no matter how impossible they seem. But what if those dreams are dumb? Five-year-old me wanted to become an astronaut. I wanted to become the first person to reach the moon. So you can imagine my dismay when I learned about Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. So I resorted to plan B. I wanted to become the first person to reach the sun. If I followed that dream, I wouldn't be here standing in front of you today. My dream was to be a crash test dummy. Yeah. It would have been great, you know, get to drive all these new cars, get paid for it, pretty cool. Uh, I kind of left that dream behind in 10th grade um, and, you know, moved on. Dr dreams are great, goals are great, but that doesn't mean they make or break you. Dreams are never eternal. Like us, they constantly change and evolve over time. Each passing moment, we learn more about ourselves. Let's see, let's talk. Your guys' dream, dream about what to be when you were young Probably isn't the same dream that you have today, and that's okay. Uh, we know Mr. Page isn't here, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's common knowledge that he wanted to be a DJ. So, <laughs> Mr. Page once dreamt to become a popular DJ with the name Stompin' Stevie. <laughs> but his dreams changed, and eventually he became the best IB coordinator around. We're not here to tell you guys to abandon your dreams. In fact, we're here to tell you that it's okay to be unsure about your future. Life is unrehearsed. There are no practice runs, there are no do-overs, and there's definitely no script that our lives follow. We make every single decision in the moment and are responsible for those consequences. You might think that this is such a heavy burden for one person. Well, it is. That is why we cannot achieve our dreams by ourselves. Take a good look to the person to your left and to your right. Look at your best friend and all your other friends. Look at the teachers that you've had and maybe if you're even your parents, if you can see them. Yeah. <laughs> all right. There's a good chance that today's the last time you're going to see them all together. So, to our IB family, we would have never survived these four challenging years without support from each other. Our teamwork and systematic approach to completing our workbook assignments during our lunch break really brought us closer together as a whole. <laughs> and, and to the teachers and faculty that have guided us through these four long years, we want to thank you for guiding us through these four long years. But seriously, no but for real. Thank you, for all our, thank you to all our IB teachers for being more than just teachers, but also for being our friends. And we want to give a special shout out to Ms. Ferry. Who's back there, right there. Yeah. Most of us only had you during our freshman year, but you became our voluntary therapist. You advise us on more than just our schoolwork, but with life in general. And also a shout out to Mr. Page, even though he's not here, and maybe he's gonna watch this in the future. Mr. Page, you have meant more to us than you could have ever imagined. You taught us how to be more empathetic and realize our fullest potentials. And Ms. Davis, you're a true leader. We may not always express it, but we could not ask for a more involved, inspiring principal. Oh, captains, my captains, there are no better. Before addressing everyone's parents, we just want to acknowledge our own parents. Mom and dad, over there. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me and leading me to where I am today. Also to my mom and dad. Thank you for all your support and for providing me all these opportunities. I wouldn't be standing here today without you. Now, dearest parents, Ms. Ledman wanted us to make you guys cry but we figured out that you're going to be crying these next few years paying for our tuition bills. We decided to take it easy on you guys tonight. We might be the ones standing up in, up in here in front of you all today, but we're only here to humbly represent the aforementioned people's support and guidance. Remember, whether you accomplish your dreams and goals or not, you now have the power to change those dreams for the better. Thank you. And congratulations to the GHS class of 2015.